We are at a pivotal moment in astronomy. Over the last few years, telescopes like JWST and EROSITA have come online, but more cutting-edge observatories will soon join their ranks. This is a new era for the study of the universe, and one of those history makers will be SKO, the Square Kilometer Array Observatory. I am Dr. Alfredo Carpinetti, Senior Space Correspondent at IFL Science, and to find out more about this new epoch of exploration, I visited one of the two sites that will host SKO, a facility in the heart of South Africa where no mobile phone technology is allowed. This is SK Mid, where 197 dishes will collect an enormous amount of data and revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos and the laws of physics. The Square Kilometer Array Observatory is a new intergovernmental organization and what we're tasked with is building two new, brand new radio telescopes situated in South Africa and Australia. This is Wendy Williams, a project scientist working for SKO. She and her colleague Ari Chu explain what we can expect in the project's future, not just SK Mid, but also Australia's SK Low, with more than 130,000 antennas scanning the sky. This is like a huge construction and engineering project. The amount of dishes we're building, the data rate that's coming through the telescopes, it will revolutionize how we deal with big data. The kinds of science that the SKA will be able to do is, is vast. It covers so many different topics in the, the field of astronomy. We'll have 197 dishes, which will be like an order higher than the, any radio telescope that we currently have. So the sensitivity will be an order higher as well. And these are two quite different telescopes, and they span the, the frequency range all the way from 50 megahertz at the low end, which is what this instrument will observe, up to about 15 gigahertz uh, at the upper frequency end, which the, the instrument here in South Africa will observe. So, what will scanning these different frequencies allow astronomers to do? It turns out that this colossal array will give us new insight to some of the oldest mysteries in the universe. And what kind of science is this? It covers everything from um, how did the universe begin? How did galaxies form and evolve? So what I'm particularly excited about is the ability to map large areas of the sky with, with our instruments, both low and mid, and map out how many galaxies are there, how many supermassive black holes are there, um, and see how these processes evolve and, and change with time. One fascinating aspect of SKO is the ability to better inspect emissions of hydrogen atoms in space. So this is the most common element in, in the universe, uh, and it emits light at a particular wavelength at 21 centimeters. Um, and this instrument actually observes it at wavelengths of about two meters or up to four meters even. So what's happening here is that the light is emitted so early in the universe that it becomes redshifted and stretches uh, as it comes to the Earth. And these instruments are capable of detecting that light. So what we're trying to do is map out how, how hydrogen clusters and groups together and collapses and forms like balls of gas and eventually uh, will come together so much that you can form stars out of it. And the SKA Low Telescope will be able to map out and even image hydrogen as it's busy doing that. We'll be seeing all these faint fast radio bursts from distant galaxies further away and this will increase our knowledge of what is in between the space of the sparse radio burst and us so helping us map out the universe and like the intergalactic medium in between the reality of using so many telescopes to power this project means that each one will gather huge amounts of data the total is almost unimaginable and as a result the project will contribute to more than just astronomy even with the current pathfinder telescopes Three seconds of our data is 10% of the whole internet's annual network data rate. So that's how much data we're processing every second with even these early prototype telescopes. And with the SKA, we need to find smarter ways to deal with data. And this will pass on in information technology to all kinds of other fields, especially AI, how we're going to train stuff. And this will change our perspective of dealing with data in the future in every aspect of the world. SKO is exciting for so many reasons, an international collaboration that spans the globe and still involves and respects the local communities around the sites of the telescopes, 
for our little pale blue dot to the most distant reaches of the universe, this antenna will help us see beyond our wildest dreams.